Uh huh. I like to use a highlighter. Study for my test and then I get a highlighter. Great. Uh huh. Yeah. Jason Albert TV with Jason Albert. What's going on, everybody? I'm Jason Albert. This is Jason Albert TV, and I am wearing a bucket hat, and I'm going to show you the proper way to use a highlighter. We're in the summertime. School will be coming back in the fall, so I want to make sure I get this video out to everybody that will be taking classes or anybody else that just wants to to have a better way of retaining information, right? In my experience, I found that the highlighter is probably the best study tool ever. The problem is people don't know how to use it very well. And so what I wanna do is I wanna show you guys my technique. I think this will be wicked effective, it's wicked efficient. I have a couple books here, a couple textbooks that I just kinda of read from time to time. First one that I'm gonna share with you guys and I'm gonna kinda of go through is uh, Probability and Statistics. Uh, this is the third edition, so if you have the third edition of Probability and Statistics, please bring that out. And we are going to go to Kind of where I'm at in the book. I'm pretty far because I'm, you know, genius mode. Um, but we're going to go to chapter 11, simulation. Okay. So let me show you guys what it looks like. We're about to start it. And I'm going to go through this right now real quick. And I'm just going to kind of show you guys how I uh, study and how I'm going to learn this material. So first thing you want to do, get your highlighter, get ready to study. Here we go. The thing about highlighters is you want to make sure that you're only highlighting the most important things. Just right off the bat, I think the most important thing is the chapter and the title of the chapter. Chapter 11 is simulation. I need to know about things in simulation. I need to be on chapter 11. I think that is super important. So I'm going to go and I'm going to highlight that. The first subpart of this chapter is chapter uh, is 11.1. Is Why is simulation useful? That's probably going to be useful. Why is simulation useful? I don't know. That's what I'm here to learn. Statistical simulations are used to estimate features of distribution such as means of functions, quantiles, 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 quantiles. Oh, I don't know that word. I'm going to highlight that word because I need to look it up later, but also that word is in a sentence. So I need to highlight that entire sentence and the rest of it and other features that we cannot compute in closed form. When using a simulation estimator, it is good to compute a measure of how precise the estimator is in addition to the estimate itself. I didn't know that. Did you know that? Probably not. Now I do. Locked in. Examples of simulation Wow, I know something and now I see examples of it. I'm gonna to wanna to go back and see those examples later. Need to get those bad boys highlighted. Boom, simulations, boom. For example, engineers can stimulate. <laughs> oh my God, I said stimulate, but that's simulate. Idiot, highlight. Boom, 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 boom. Ooh, here's a sentence that I didn't know existed until just now. A physicist can simulate the behavior of gas molecules under conditions that are covered by no known theory. God damn, that is smart words. Statistical simulations are used to estimate probabilistic. <laughs> now, I know what that means, but again, Monte Carlo analysis. Boom. Notice that I have right now, so far, I have highlighted only the important information, guys. I didn't know any of this. These are examples. And then this is the actual formula. That is super important because in math, that's what you practice on is formulas. You need these formulas. And if you're memorizing formulas, you need to highlight them so you know what to memorize. Next, we're gonna go ahead and look at that formula. And then this kind of explains a little bit more. We get into some, let me try to tell you guys, uh, and the parameter with a symbol. Now, I don't know what that symbol means, um, but it looks like a U, so we're gonna just go ahead and highlight that, and then we're gonna do a capital M as an estimator of this U thing, and the MSEE -E parentheses bracket, M minus the U thing bracket, squared parentheses, <laughs> Jesus. And boom, and then what we're gonna do is see how it comes to the end here with and, obviously that's going on. If we're gonna go on to the next page and continue to study, we're gonna to need to know where that and came from. That and came from page number 699. So, so far you guys can see exactly what you need to do when you are highlighting Putting the cap on. So as you guys can see, 
Just this first page, chapter 11, simulation, I went through those things I didn't understand, which I highlighted. Extremely important that I highlighted. There were titles, different subsets. These are all things that are super important that you're going to need to know. So you need to highlight those. This is just how I study. Now, I know you guys are probably seeing that thinking, Jason, this is amazing. But do you really use this to study? Boom. Look at this. I have highlighted only the most important information. Okay? You guys can borrow this book. You guys would be way smarter than just trying to use your own books. If you guys want to borrow this book for my study, my study highlights, go ahead. I mean, look at this. The most important information, okay? All equations, definitions, main topics, subtopics, examples of subtopics. I mean, example, full tables. These are important. Guys, learn, please, learn proper study techniques. I got 110 percent final grade in actuarial a actuarial mathematics Bowers I got even more points 5.6 GPA grade point analysis in probability and statistics Morris and Mark the most impressed they're super impressed with my academic achievements guys that's the proper way to use a highlighter get it right and you guys will get really high grade point analysis. Thank you so much for watching. See you later, crocodile. Please like, comment, subscribe, follow, and share.